As friends and family gathered Monday night to remember the victim from Friday's Home Depot shooting, a familiar face caught on camera by our crews. Sheila Agee, the mother of shooting suspect Keith Agee, was seen in attendance. Not long after this, she was arrested and charged with principal to first degree murder. I don't know that I'm aware of one that, that, that kind of took this particular type of a turn. They filled me in that, hey, we've got, you know, there's someone else involved in this thing. And okay, that, that happens a lot. Um, rarely does it, does it involve the mother. Rarely does it involve the mother that's actually at the scene and that actually gave a ride to the, to the, you know, to the, the, the victim. Sheriff Chip Simmons telling me today that both AG and the victim, Brooklyn Sims, rode to work together on the day of the shooting. Domestic cases like this aren't uncommon, the sheriff says. What is rare, though, is the mother-son connection. His mother was apparently at the store. His mother was also um, em employed, um, the victim in, in this case. And again, as they started to tell me what these text messages said, I was just, I was in disbelief. I cannot believe that this, you know, this individual is not just, uh, you know, cooperating with her son, but also appeared to be arranging it, helping him out and, and letting him know exactly where, where he needs to go. Keith A.G. said he was going to kill Sims. A.G. telling his mother in a text, I can't take it, expletive. According to Sims' family members, the two had been involved in a rocky relationship. Sheila A.G. appeared to egg on her son. One text says, quote, If you don't come kill her, you a Another reads, I'll give you the address here. Meaning Pensacola. And you can ride over here and do it so you don't have to do it in front of your daughter. The apparent plan? To get Sims in Sheila Agee's car. This text reads, Don't shoot at my car. I don't want to die. Wait till I put her out. Telling her son she doesn't care what he does. Just quote, don't shoot me. The messages continue with each telling one another to delete the text with Sheila saying, hold up, let me get it erased, the text because I don't want nobody to know I was texting you. Deputies were still able to recover and share some of them. Is there one message that really set things apart? I think the one that gets me is don't don't shoot at my car. You know, I'm gonna be in my car. Don't don't be you know, be careful. Don't shoot my car. Don't shoot me. Um, and he says I won't. You know, it, it's it's just it's just that cold reality of what you're reading. Um, you know, and the intent that that was involved there. I think that that's really the, the most to me the most shocking part.